Hi guys. In this video, I will show you how to improve your CPU performance. So let's start out by enabling all your CPU cores. So in order to do that, you have to press the Windows plus R button, and then type in msconfig and then press OK. Go to boot tab, and then click on advanced options. Make sure number of processors are check is checked. And click this drop bar and select the highest amount of cores you can enable. For me, it's 32 I have Intel Xeron processors. And then after you're done doing that press OK apply and OK. And then you guys will have to restart your computer to save this. Now you have to download Quick CPU. Quick CPU is a program that was designed to fine tune and monitor important CPU and system parameters such as CPU temperature, CPU performance, power, voltage, current, core parking, frequency scaling, system memory, turbo boost, C states, speed shift fiber control, as well as making other adjustments. The link is in the description. Scroll all the way down until you see the download button right over here. So press the download quick CPU, just click that the zip file and then click x64. Once the download is completed, extract the zip file using WinRAR. Double click on the installation file to install. So once you have this application, set up make sure to run it as administrator. Right click quick CPU app and select run as administrator. They'll give a permission to change your CPU settings. So you should have it loaded up like this. Click go to system power plan and make sure to click on ultimate performance. Windows is usually set to balance performance, but since you're gaming you want the best performance as possible. So just click ultimate performance. Then go to core parking index and click just slide up all the way to 100%. Usually it might be at 41%, but since we're trying to optimize for gaming just go to 100%. And do the same thing for turbo boost index and frequency scaling. So once you're done with this just press apply, and it should say changes saved just successfully applied. Now you should see the changes. If you go to task manager, and then go to performance, and you should see your CPU should be running at a much higher frequency than it was before. So without the overclocking or improvement in performance, you are running at your base speed. And now you should be running at your higher level, which should be above like 3 GHz or something. Thanks for watching this video.